uh, he generally doesn't say, uh, I mean, he's not very positive about uh, keyboardists, but still, he said that, okay, I play properly and uh, I'll be playing with him. He gave me all the chord charts. Playing alongside him, uh, kumping alongside him, my voicings, my chord applications, and everything like, uh, it increased in manifolds. So, uh, whatever, uh, whatever like uh, the chord applications and any, any, any kind of playing work which I developed, uh, uh, Alliance share is uh, due to him. So, if Carlton Kito would not have been there, I don't know. So, that's one thing. <laughs> They said it's too complicated and they would play Cliff Richards and you know, things, shadows and all that. So I was sitting with an old gramophone and a horn gramophone and picking up things from Charlie Christian's records, which were part of the house collection, the 78 records, so winding and playing. I was seriously working on those solos of Charlie Christian and uh, my father used to think I'm crazy. He used to say, I don't understand what he's playing. But I know what his brother's playing because my brother he would play Jim Reeves and, you know, all these melodic old tunes, all that. And my dad was saying, so this is the type of music, you know, he should play, which was a big insult. It was a terrible insult, but I said, that's my dad. Actually, there's nothing happening right. musically. Right. 
So, but your technique is good, your right hand is well developed, and the idea of what you're playing is very good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Whatever it is, original. <laughs> yeah, original, just yeah. jamming up. It's very good. <laughs> You can say from the 50s to the 60s, Park Hotel was booming with, uh, with jazz, and mainly jazz. There were jazz, there were jazz singers, there were floor shows, there were cabaret artists from abroad, people like that. I started in Bola Rouge, alternating with Mukambo, and then finally sign off at Bola Rouge again. So it was lunchtime, tea time, and night time. Dinner. Different types of music. For the afternoon, we used to play semi classics, and sometimes Latin, Latin American. And in the night, it was pure jazz. Park Street was then like Hollywood. Hmm? There was Ripsy, Shelley Myers, who was known as Jane Mansfield of Calcutta. And Ripsy McCabin. She was very similar to the looks of Marilyn Monroe. And better than all of them was Pam Crane. She about to emerge from the railway colonies in Danbad. She's from there. And she took Calcutta by storm. As the doors open, you'll find jazz strains of different combinations coming out from people entering and I mean exiting. But uh, wow, Park Street was one beautiful place, which is now. Just the opposite. And I was refused to go. And Louis Banks was there also. He joined the film music and he's made it big. I'm still here. Because I like Kanka. Thank you.